Another victim. And there are many of them. Their deadly enemy, the diamondback rattlesnake. A constant menace to the fine bramas that graze here west of Lake Okeechobee in Florida. But the cattlemen and grove owners of this area have found a remarkable way of ridding their land of the coil killer. And that's what we're going to see in answer to a request from Charles Dalton of Novata, California, who asked to see a rattlesnake pointer dog as it stalks its prey. Well, Mr. Dalton, there's only one dog trained for this dangerous assignment that we know about. And here she is, a three-year-old mongrel hound named Yeller Gal with her master, Horace Schultz. Yeller Gal finds him, Horace brings him in. It's a job that calls for real courage, even in a dog. A diamondback's color blends with the undergrowth, and it's hard to see. And don't be fooled, it can strike without warning. This dog seems to have no fear of them at all, even this whopper. Yeller Gal and Horace have brought back over 500 diamondback rattlesnakes alive. The man has been bitten twice, the dog not once. Take a look at the scars on that boot, the vicious mark of a rattler. But they're going out again, and Yeller Gal's invited us along. Into the swamp country. This is their hunting ground. Heavy tropical growth. Plenty of snakes out there, if they can be found. Horace uses only two tools in the hunt, that long pole and a snake sack. A closer look at that pole and then we'll be on our way. A fork at one end, a hook at the other. We'll have a chance now to see it used. The other gal moves ahead. The search is up to her alert to every sight, sound, or smell. There's our snake in the grass, another big one. If the wind is right, the dog will catch the scent. Circles, always a fraction of an inch beyond that deadly strike. Time for Horace to move in, quickly. The constant barking goads the snake, keeps it from retreating under the log. If it should go under, the hook on the pole will bring it out. A huge diamond back, ten rattlers, and that's a lot. Immediately, Horace tries to divert the snake's attention away from the dog. He keeps waving. Yellow gal moves behind him. All attention now on the hand. Pole in the left hand now, right hand free. This is the critical moment. Fork over the neck, pinning it to the ground, and Horace makes the grab. Real danger here. If the powerful snake should coil the arm, he's in for trouble. Now watch the move. Tail in the left hand. And get a look at those fangs, savage jaws. The next move, knee holding it to the ground. Now both head and tail in the right hand. Think of holding one in your bare hand. Sack ready and an expert flip and the snake drops in. Pull over the sack to keep it there. And he ties it closed. Yellow gal to see if another's near. Back to the Jeep now. Horace always takes the rattlers alive, sells them to zoos, epicures, or for venom. And he gets a fair price. But all that Yellow Gal asks is the excitement of the hunt with his master. Snake box marked hot. Do not open. That's for Horace alone. Flap of the sack left under the lid for safety in removing it. A dog serves man in so many ways, his companion as a worker. 
500 diamond-backed rattlers to Yellow Gal's credit, and she'll be back for more.